Welcome to the series of tapes designed to acquaint you with the various majors at Millersville University. I'm Dr. Ralph Anton, your host for the series, and with me today, I have a physics major, George Smith. George, I want to welcome you, and uh, before we get into talking about physics, we always like to know a little bit about the person. Where is George Smith from? How did he wind up at Millersville, and what did you do in the past? Um, well... So, you know, my name is George. I originally grew up in Philadelphia, um, moved to Perksy, Pennsylvania, which is two hours east okay. of here. Right, two hours east. Uh, and I lived there most of my life. I went to Penridge High School. Uh, and then I went to Bucks County Community College, which was right across the street from my high school. Okay. And then I decided to come here. So. Okay. And you have been here how many years now? Um, I'm still on my first year okay. here. And so. you are a physics major. Right, right. That is a major that's very difficult. Why did you pick physics? Um, I took physics in high school. I took AP physics and just general physics with algebra, and I did really well in both classes. It was, it was a lot of fun. The mechanics part was a lot really like hands-on. I did well, got like straight A's. It was great, you know. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm good at what I do. Okay. Now math is big in physics too. Yes, it is. So you really have to have math in your background to be a physics major. Yeah, actually recently I took ordinary differential equations, which is kind of like calculus four. It's the okay. above calculus three. All right. And um, I didn't do so, so hot in that, but I'm retaking it and I'm gonna do better this time. Okay, so you gotta get up all the way up to ordinary differentials. Right, which is uh, still a co-requisite for some physics classes. Okay, so, so are, are, are you into any other physics courses right now besides, you said mechanics. Uh, what are you taking right now in physics? Right now I'm taking macroscopic physics, which is focusing on the thermodynamics of big systems. Okay. And then I'm also taking on the opposite side, wave particle theory, which is very small systems, right? Like electrons and photons and all so that So you have stuff. to think abstractly and concretely to be a physics major, right? <laughs> right, it's a lot of math, which is very like square, very concrete, but then you also have to think abstractly to get to the answer you need. You have this set of equations, but you got to think creatively to get to this other set. And you really like this stuff. I do, yeah. It's, it keeps me busy. <laughs> okay, and, and I, I heard through the grapevine that you recently wrote a paper on a paradox, right? Yeah, yeah. And relativity, is that, am I in the right ballpark? Yeah, um, I wrote a paper on Einstein's theory of relativity, and um, in it I had a little clip about the twin paradox. Which is? Um, can you simply explain it to a man who probably won't understand? But... I, I can, I can. Um, may, the special relativity kind of states, like, the faster you go, time kind of slows down. You kind of shrink. Like, things aren't normal, right? They, okay. they act differently uh, when you go faster and faster. And as you go faster and faster into space, they also act differently. Um, when there's two twins, two babies born at the same time, one gets jettisoned into space, right? And one okay. stays on Earth. All right. Um, after so many years, say about like 60 years maybe or 100 years, the baby comes back from, from space. Okay. Um, and they're going to claim that they're different ages. Okay. But in reality, they're the same. But because time moves differently in space than it does on Earth, it's, it's a paradox. Like the space baby is going to say that. Who's going to look older? Do you think one's going to look older than the other one? Or? Um, truthfully, no, I don't think so. It's, okay. I'm still trying to wrap my brain around it, truthfully, but um, the Earth baby is supposed to look older okay. than the space baby. So if the space baby's 60, the other one's going to cl claim that the Earth baby's 100. Okay. So. so this is the type of stuff that intrigues you, right? Yeah, this is what I was learning in wave particle theory right now. Okay, and it led to this paper. Right. So you got math, good skills, you got to have... Is there chemistry involved? Do you have to take any chem? I do, but it's it's not a lot. I'm in ke uh, general chemistry two right now. Okay. Chemistry, I feel, is harder than physics. It's really? A lot, yeah, it's a it's a lot more abstract. There's not as much math. There's a little bit, but it doesn't go far beyond algebra. What about biology? Do you have to take any biology? Um, no, no, you don't. I took biology though to fill a gen gen ed gen block. Ed. Okay. Right. Is there any other gen eds that you have taken uh, that you think are good to co complement your uh, physics major? Well, take lots of math. I came here with an associate's degree in math education. Actually, okay. I wanted to be a teacher, and then I decided really? I changed my mind. Why? Um, 
I have a few family members who are teachers, and ah. they've retired early. They've had problems. Um, the bureaucracy, I just, right? I've also the paperwork. Gone into, I've gone into classes and decided that it's not for me. So, okay, so you basically switched your major when you came here, right? I didn't think too much about it because you know math to physics, exactly. You, you'd think, but no, I'm a little bit behind. Okay, on my curriculum, even though I'm ahead in credits. Okay, you've got to fill up some of those physics requirements, right? Right, exactly. So when you're projecting your retirement, I mean your retirement, that's me, I'm retired. When are you you projecting your graduation? Um, On a typical four-year schedule, I'd graduate next year, um, 2014. Okay. But I'd suspect either the fall semester of 2014 or the spring semester of 2015. Okay. Are you looking at any jobs and leaning anywhere, or are you just going to be wide open with this one? Uh, for jobs, I really don't know what I want to do with it, but I know I have lots of options out there. Okay, because physics majors are pretty rare. Oh, absolutely. I mean, there are not many of you out there. I'm, I'm kind of relying on that, too, because there's so little of us, you know, it's kind of in higher demand than some of the other majors okay. offering. Are you involved in anything else besides physics at Millersville? Um, I am. I'm involved in the radio station. Really? WIXQ. I okay. think you know that oh, better I, than anybody. Uh, yeah, I do know that. <laughs> uh, you got a show yet? I do. It's um, 7 to 10 a.m. on Sunday mornings. Sunday mornings? Sunday mornings. You're awake at 7 in the morning? Uh, mostly. I always have my coffee with me, though. Okay. So. What's the title of your show? Fourth Meal. Um, Fourth unfortunately, meal. I did not pick that. But in my household, fourth meal or the meal that comes after dinner is very big. We all like to okay. stop. Okay. So your family doing. predicted it for, pre- got it for you, right? I, I not not, not my family. No, no. Not my not my, pa- my Paula family, my uh, my roommates. It's oh, big. that family. Right. Okay. So, well, do you like Millersville so far? I do. I love it. It's okay. really great. I love the area. It's very quiet. The city's right nearby. If I want to do anything. Okay, big change from Philly, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Any um, cultural shock when you came here? When you saw it? or no, Not too much. Like, some of the horse and buggies are kind of cool to see. Not much so so much in Millersville, but in the Lancaster area, like where I work. So. Okay, where do you work? I work at Giant. I'm Giant. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, you got to make money. I do got to make money. I actually just got a promotion, too, which is nice. I can see that. Yeah. I can see you get the promotion. <laughs> Any other final thoughts? Anything you want to say about life, the world, George Smith? Um, well, <sighs> physics is cool. I, I love it. Just do what you love. I, I don't have it. Like physics and the radio station, I love them both. They're not too much interto- intertwined, but just, I'm doing it because I love it. So. Okay. Well, George, follow your passion. That's right. Okay, and I want to thank you for taking the time. I'm going to oh. shake your hand. Thank you, sir. I appreciate <laughs> it. And... Uh, Physics major, math, got to work hard, got to think concretely, abstractly. Tough major, but if you love it and it's your passion, think about it. Thank you for listening. Take care.